Hello everyone, welcome to our third tutorial of our From Sequences to Similarity series of tutorials. Now we will take a look at the BLAST search directly from BioPython. We only need an accession number for that. So let's have a look at the script. So first of all we set our working directory and then you'll see here we will want to obtain the BLAST results so we load the NCBI www from bio.blast and we say result handle is ncbiwww.qblast we want to um, search for a nucleotide sequence so we say you want to do blast n it's a nucleotide sequence and this is the accession number for that so when we will um, execute this it will take the accession number go to blast and do a blast n search for that sequence so now we have a look at the blast results so we use the command ncbi xml this time, we open the xml file and we read the information in that file and save it as blast underscore record. And we only have a look at all the hits that have an e value of 0.0001. And this e value, it's also written here, is the number of random sequences that would have the same hit score as the sequence you're looking at. So the sequence you're looking at is, I mean, the sequence that have this kind of e value. And then if you want to know how many hits that we have in this file, we say, okay, CT, count, zero. And then we look for each alignment in the alignments in the BLAST record. And then we, we use this, HSP. So this is actually the sequence that is aligned against the query sequence. So the query sequence is this one. And then we will print some values, the sequence, the length of the sequence, the E value, and then some other information. And at the end of this, we will print the number of sequences that are in the file. So let's have a look at this first one. So we have here alignment, the sequence, the sequence that we found using the blast n. This is the length of that sequence and the e value of zero, which means that this is a very good match to the query. And then you have a list of all other sequences that are in the file. So it's a lot. And then at the end, you have here, there are 50 sequences in this BLAST output. So you know there are 50 sequences in this XML file. So we have retrieved 50 similar sequences compared to the query file using BLAST M. Now we have done this BLAST search, and I will see you in our next video. See you soon!